Who's hungry? Because today we'll be covering the 10 best shows on Netflix about food. Ranked. Welcome back to Enchant Films. Let's get into the video. Number 10, The Final Table. A global competition series hosted by food writer and critic Andrew Knowlton. A dozen teams of two professional chefs each compete to see how they can create the most elevated dish from a specific country, with a new country and dish chosen each episode. There was just one season back in 2018, but it was already received by viewers. My name out there. It would absolutely change everything. If I fail, I let down my family. Number 9, The Curious Creations of Christine McConnell. The only sitcom on the list, this one stars McConnell as herself, a baker and artist who lives with and cares for a variety of creatures. Fittingly, her bake creations tend to be pretty morbid and otherworldly, from gingerbread haunted houses to pretzel stick bones. The show employs a unique format that is part sitcom, part scripted reality show, and part DIY. We'll be ready to carve a face. I use royal icing and a pipe. Number 8, Chef's Table, BBQ. The latest spin-off of Netflix's first ever original documentary series, Chef's Table, Chef's Table BBQ, released in 2020, highlights just four chefs who have mastered the art of mouth-watering barbecue. From the 85-year-old Tootsie Tominitz, who attracts lines around the block for her cooking at Snow's BBQ in Texas, to Australian chef Lennox Hasty, who loves to experiment barbecuing just about everything. It's a wild ride. Yeah, people just pour right in. Family. Friends. Number 7, Ugly Delicious. The idea behind this nonfiction series is to look at a dish or concept and see how it is made differently around the world. Concepts, for example, might include everything from the kids' menu to Thanksgiving dinner, while dishes range from fried chicken to curry. It's a combination of food, history, and travel show to delight the senses. Try to respect these cultures, you can figure out how to merge them together. Number 6, Street Food Latin America. The first season of this documentary series focused on street food found around the world with the host visiting everywhere from Thailand to Japan, India to the Philippines, to gain an understanding of what street food looks like in different cities and cultures. This series, considered Volume 2, focused on countries and cities in Latin America, and the food served there, like empanadas in Buenos Aires, Argentina, moqueca, a dish with fish, coconut milk, and dende oil, in Salvador, Brazil, and ceviche in Lima, Peru. A comida de rua ajuda a identidade. Number 5, Street Food Asia. As noted, the original series highlighted street food from nine countries and cities around the world as the host traveled to these different destinations to explore what is considered street food in different cultures and how much of a variety there can be. This first volume saw the host chowing down on everything from fish head to casserole in Chai Ai, Taiwan, to chicken rice and wonton noodles in Singapore, and vegetable lumpia in Cebu, Philippines. <laughs> Number 4, Cooked. Released in 2016, this documentary series is based on the Michael Pollan book of the same name that examined the history and varieties of cooking and how food can connect people. Pollan himself stars in the series along with Isaac Pollan. Cook divides food from both the past and present into four categories, fire, water, air, and earth. There was only a single season with four episodes, but the series remains in the top ten on Netflix when it comes to shows about food. Why they expect me to eat that for real? You have like a full spine like, in your crowd. <laughs> like that's crazy. I need more Number three, The Chef Show. Jean Favreau can do it all, and between his busy schedule as an actor, director, producer, and screenwriter, he is joined by Chef Roy Choi for The Chef Show that serves as a spin-off to Favreau's 2014 movie Chef. In each episode, Favreau and Choi experiment with cooking everything from pasta to sourdough bread, visit restaurants around the world, and meet respected chefs. There are several guests that appear in various episodes from Robert Downey Jr. to Seth Rogen, making it a great show for film buffs as well. Two seasons have streamed thus far with a total of 25 episodes. And if you ate something growing up and you have a taste for it, you seek it out. Number two, Somebody Feed Phil. With a focus on travel and exploring cuisines from around the world, this docuseries follows Phillips Rosenthal, writer and producer of shows like Everybody Loves Raymond, as he is, well, fed in various restaurants around the world. As a sort of successor to his previous PBS series, I'll Have What Phil's Having, four seasons have been released thus far of Somebody Feed Phil, the latest just before Halloween 2020. Hey. I'm so happy! Imagine anyone Number 1, Chef's Table. Netflix's original first documentary series, the one premiered back in 2015 and is still going strong. There have been several spin-offs as focusing on cuisine in different countries like Spain and France, as well as the latest spin-off, Chef's Table BBQ, that hones in on chefs who have made barbecue food their lives work. Every episode follows a specific world around chef, learning about their philosophy on cooking, history in the business, struggles or challenges they might have faced along the way, pivotal moments, culinary inspirations, and signature dishes. It's a must-watch for any passionate foodie. And I've made them happy. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. 
hit like if you did, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye and take care.